Okay, we're just going to run through uh, the Google Analytics e-commerce tracking module, installation and uh, configuration. It's all fairly straightforward. You can pick up the module from the open cart market. Uh, the, the price instructions are all there. It includes a free installation if you're not confident with it. Uh, and uh, there's a feature outline here which shows you all the things that uh, the module does in addition to standard uh, Google Analytics tracking. Once you've uh, got the module and unzipped it, uh, you need to open up your uh, FTP program. Inside the zip folder of the module, you'll see a, a VQ mod folder and the installation document. Uh, you need to connect to your OpenCart store. You need to find the root directory of your OpenCart store. This is the directory with admin, catalog, download, image, those folders all in there. Uh, you need to have VQ mod installed. All you have to do is simply copy the folder from the zip file over to your root directory. It will place all the files in the right location uh, in your uh, OpenCut store and that's it, it's installed. Uh, we then need to just go into our admin panel, so you log into your admin panel. Uh, the only configuration you need to do now with the system is to go to System, Settings, edit your store, click on the server tab and you'll notice uh, previously in this field right down the bottom here you needed to put in your full uh, Google Analytics tracking snippet that's the one with the script tags, the JavaScript and everything like that you no longer need to do that all you need to do is to put in your profile ID which usually follows the format UA XXX something like that you know uh, you'll have a unique number for all your uh, Google Analytics profiles. Once you've done that, we're just making up a, a number there. Click Save. And as far as basic e-commerce tracking is, that's it. It's all ready to go. If you want to uh, track uh, your, your goals or your funnels or you, as, as people come through the checkout process, and seeing when they're leaving and, and all that sort of stuff. There is some more settings and they're in the install document but for everything else you've pretty much done it. What you'll have then is this is a test account with some uh, dummy data in it. You'll then have the ability to go into conversions in your Google Analytics. Things like uh, e-commerce we can have a look at the overview. I've just done some test transactions. These aren't real uh, but we can start to see revenue, sales, uh, product performance, each individual transaction that went through. Uh, and some of the most interesting stuff is when you start to go back to your traffic, which I'm sure most people are looking at their traffic sources and whatnot, you can now, uh, let's say, uh, well, there, there's, there's not much traffic to this site because it's only a test, uh, test thing, but we can click on e-commerce and down here we can start to see the traffic that where the traffic is coming from and actually the revenue we're generating from that traffic so you can quickly identify if you're paying for referrals or you're paying for AdWords or any of those things driving traffic to your site you can quickly see uh, the revenue that they're actually uh, providing and you can start to see other things like conversion rates over here and everything like that. So it's a very powerful tool. You, you can't run e-commerce without this kind of data and information. So that's it. As simple as that. You, uh, you, you copy that folder across in your FTP program. You go into your admin panel and simply uh, put in your profile ID and uh, the Google Analytics Pro module takes care of the rest. Very easy. Okay, thank you.